Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here. And I think this is going to be the last video of the Calculator Remake series because we're going to be adding all of the operations and stuff. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make our calculator class implement action listener. Now, what this is going to do is allow for us to listen for um, when we press a button or something like that. So to get started, let's just do this. All right. Um, so we're going to do a for loop in here. For int i equals zero, i is less than number buttons dot length i plus plus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to e actually, and we're going to say if e dot get source equals um, one second. So what we're going to do is we're going to say e dot get source if e if e dot x get source equals number buttons i. Then we're going to do field dot set text field field dot get text plus um, i. Right? Yeah, okay. So actually what we have to do up here is when we create our new J buttons, we're gonna do number of buttons number but no <laughs> number of buttons i dot add action listener uh this. So we're referring to this class because it's it also implements action listener. So now if we run this, we're able to press buttons press uh the number of buttons. Nothing else, just the number of buttons. I'm actually gonna change the text of the text field so it's a lot bigger. Do that really quick. Field dot set font new font. We'll do Arial font dot plain and twenty four. So you can change this to whatever you want. I am just gonna do something basic so we can actually see them. All right, yeah, that's a lot better. Um, so what do we got to do next? Let's add the decimal button. Yeah, let's add the decimal button and the plus minus and the clear. So let's see. The decimal button is button zero. So if e dot get source source equals op buttons button zero, then what we're gonna do uh, actually and um, Field dot get text uh, dot contains point. There we go. So if that's not true, it'll allow it because we don't want to be able to put um, more than one decimal in our number. What we'll do is field dot set text field dot get text plus a decimal. Uh, next one, we're doing clear. If e dot get source equals num or op buttons button seven, what we'll do is we're gonna do um, yeah field dot set text uh, string dot no, no, no. In integer integer dot parse int uh, field dot get text. So we're just turning this into an integer, um, and we're gonna multiply it by negative one times negative one. But we can't do that because we gotta just add a string in there. So if we run this, let's just make sure that works. No, it does not. All right. Um, hmm. Let's see. Negative one times integer dot parse in. Hopefully this will work. I'm hoping. No. Okay. Well. Uh, oh. Oh. It. It, sh it is working. It's just because I did not add action listeners to them. So let's add let's add action listeners to all the op buttons. 
op buttons i equals r dot add action listener this that should work now so no it does not the decimal works decimal works but the negative does not already um hmm that's because I had it on the wrong button okay so it's op button six so the negative does work now we're just adding the clear if e dot get source equals op buttons seven um, field dot set text to a blank string so let's do that uh, clear there we go okay now we just gotta add the operations for all of these buttons and then we're good to go so let's see let's add let's let's make a new variable let's actually create a few variables private int num1 num2 and answer and then we need to create one more integer variable called op that's just going to stand for what operation um, we're using so one will be addition two will be subtraction three will be multiplication and four will be division so what we're going to do is if e dot get source equals op buttons three um, let's see what's what's three three two two is addition okay two um, we'll just do num1 equals integer dot parse parse ah. <laughs> parse int field dot get text and then um, op equals one and then field dot set text to a blank string alright um, now we're gonna basically do the same thing for um, for the other buttons except we'll set op to two and then um, four and op will be three and then five five and oops not fifty two five and op will be four so now what we're gonna do if e dot get source equals equals op buttons one yes one yeah one if e dot get source equals op buttons one what we're gonna do is num two equals integer dot parse int um, field dot get text get text and then we'll do if op equals one else if op equals two else if op equals three and then one more else if else if op equals four so what we'll do in here is answer equals num1 plus num2 we'll copy this num num1 um, answer equals num1 minus num2 uh, times divided by oh I messed this up I gotta change these to doubles so just go up to the top and change all of these to doubles except for the operation um, and then we'll do um, op equals zero right op equals zero and then field dot set text answer or string plus answer so let's test this guy out except what have I forgotten? Nothing. Okay, let's try him out. Alright, so 6 plus 6 equals 12. 8 times 8 equals 64. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. Um, 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. Um, and you can't add a second decimal. 
Let's see, I'm getting some errors here. All right. Um, also, just one more thing on the equals or on the clear button, which is seven. We're also going to set op equal to zero. Right? No. No, we won't. Well, that just about does it for this tutorial. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I really wanted to remake this series so I could make it a lot better for you guys, a lot easier to understand. I hope it was a lot easier to understand, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.